Hey guys, I am Big and Scary. I'm bringing you another StarCraft 2 replay, this time featuring Switch Feya in the top left corner playing the Red Zerg. And in the top right, we have Alarm as Blue Terran. Both players are in Platinum League. We are on Antigua Shipyard. This is a ladder match. Uh, it's for the points, but not much else. And uh, experience. You know, as you're Platinum, moving up in the ranks, uh, getting better, the mechanics getting better. Deciding on what your build's going to be, uh, it's a very it's a very special time in a young pro, uh, StarCraft player's life. Antigua Shipyard, it's been around for a while, it's, it's uh, much loved. The only problem is Alarm kind of got shafted because his uh, expansions are going to be moving towards his enemy. May, uh, the natural's right there, but then the third is incredibly short by air distance to switch Veya, which is actually probably going to benefit... Uh, alarm more than it's going to benefit switch fan unless he goes mute us because the medevacs are just constantly being used by uh, Terran and the drops that can come out of them are so devastating and when you have the main at such a short distance between your own third it can be a pretty uh, powerful position to jump off of it looks like the overlord the second overlord is heading in the correct direction it looks like switch has already brought his drone out but it's not going to be scouting towards the correct base after it grabs that watchtower a little bit of delayed uh but that's basically a crapshoot you know deciding on which way to scout not much you can do if you guess wrong the first barracks is coming up alarm is gonna have enough time probably to get his wall off completely finished if he uh uses this scv immediately after the barracks is up an ex fast expand at 15 for switch Faya coming out uh, it looks like he hasn't gotten a pool yet it probably will be following shortly thereafter he might wait one or two more supply but that's pretty standard uh, against Terran. Uh, with the overlord fastly approaching he's going to see there the uh, supply depot is going down and the first marine is on the way so switch Fay is not going to be able to scout in the main base he's not going to see that no gas is pulled so he's going to make him a little bit more nervous has to play a little bit more defensively fortunately he has his spawning pool and his tractor already coming up so that speed will be underway for the uh, Zerglings at a pretty fast pace. That first Marine is coming out. It looks like the drone was caught off in that corner, which means that the wall off is complete for the drone. Uh, if your drone, you ever send him into the base and he just winds up here or is tucked up in a corner rather than going up, it means the AI pathing is aware that the uh, wall off is complete. And so they just uh, try to walk into the wall. One racks fast expand for alarm being a little ballsy, but he can afford to be. Uh, he has not. He did send out a scouting probe, didn't he? No, he did not. He has no idea where the home base is. Uh, no scouting SCV, so definitely ballsy for alarm. But the size of Antigua Shipyard means that he's going to be able to get his uh, first command center up. Second command center up is just <laughs> reckless. <laughs> so he's going to have quite a lot of economy. He's definitely banking on delayed aggression out of uh, Switch Vea. Hoping that he's going to have his uh, bunker up and plenty of Marines to fill that bunker and hold off any of the aggression. He might have to lift off his orbital if uh, a large swell of Zerglings comes out of Switch Vea. But we can see that, no, he's got his fast expand. He's got two queens out on the field right now doing their larva injects and uh, droning up. Just staying on that two base right now. No fast third on the horizon. Uh, and he's just now started on that metabolic boost for the Zerglings. Pulled all of his drones out of the extractor just to uh, just because they've got that 100 gas. Usually you leave one drone in the extractor so that the uh, so that you can continue mining gas. And then once you get the second 100 gas, you uh, go ahead with the layer. Let you get that higher tech at a nice timing, but it doesn't really bite into your uh, excess gas production but there you go saturating that geyser again alarm succeeds in snaking a single scv into the base sees one gas taken with the spawning pool doing something he knows what that's researching but with three get three queens on the way and a spine uh switch is going to be feeling pretty pretty secure the speed of the hellions that will be coming out of uh, alarm you can see that the reactor is being added onto the barracks which is so close by these uh, reactor hellions are going to be Pretty, pretty important in grabbing some early map control, keeping the Zerg contained, allowing uh, Alarm to eventually reposition his third. Probably going to take it down here, which is farther away from Switch Faya's home base. A little bit more of a secured place, but it's important to keep and hold that uh, map control. Looks like uh, Switch Faya's got that Baneling Nest coming out. 
some uh, fast zerglings are a pretty good counter two hellions as long as you can capture them somewhere where there's a, a crevice kind of holding them against the wall antigua shipyard has some nice wide open spaces but it's also kind of chopped up with these uh walls kind of preventing that surround but also preventing the hellions from being able to run away from the zerglings and with zergling speed already on the way these hellions have got to be very careful uh exactly how aggressive alarm is going to be with them because he's going to be relying upon that uh that map control afforded by the Hellions. Overlord coming in. Probably doesn't see all three of the barracks coming down. But he does see the... Uh, oops. Does see the fa factory. And does he see both gas? He does see both gases fully taken. No gas down at the uh, expansion yet. But with the plethora of Raxes being built down in the main base. I think uh, Switch fan knows that it's going to be a ma mainly ground-based play coming out of Alarm. The four Hellions getting in the front door. A lot of Zerglings already there. Spinecrawler in position to uh, deny any aggression. Don't think these Hellions are going to be able to get in there. Have to be very careful not to get surrounded. But uh, if those Zerglings had continued to follow the Hellions, I'm sure Alarm could have correctly microed them to prevent uh, a lot of damage. Probably take them down completely. Again, that map control is pretty important when you're trying to do what Alarm's trying to do, which is take a third base uh, he could just be using the orbital just to throw down one or two extra mules that mules just sitting there that's a waste uh, but those extra mules can definitely aid in getting out a lot of the mineral rich units like those hellions and uh, marines dual evo uh, engineering bays on the ground I'm sure they're gonna be doing the one one shortly there they go the uh, stem already underway for the Marines. They don't have combat shields just yet, but we can see a Roach army has been added to the Zergling Baneling mixture. And it looks like we have a uh, Baneling bust coming on the way for uh, Switch Bay. It looks like Gas is his current limiting factor. He's grabbed that third geyser, which you can see from the uh, mini map. The six Hellions that were on the field are getting pulled back to deal with this aggression. Hellions not going to be very good against these Roaches, but there's not a lot of Zerglings on the field either, so those Hellions are definitely going to be limited. Some big hits from the Banelings uh, bring down that bunker completely. These SCVs have got to be really careful. They uh, Hellions have succeeded in splitting up the Roach army, but a small number of Roaches do get in. A massive Baneling hit just decimates the SCV count. It's still in alarm's favor but he's got those three cc's so he's going to be able to recreate all the uh, scvs that he's lost but he can't afford to take too many more losses 20 more zerglings on the way and lair tech coming down haven't seen switch fire grab a third yet which is probably what he needs to do if so such a successful raid these roaches absolutely decimating the unupgraded marines they don't have their combat shields they do have stem but one one is so close to being finished he just needed one more minute all the marines getting cut down even though there was a uh medevac force on the field those zerglings swarming in just doing some more damage got to be very careful with this orbital don't want to lose that uh has enough energy for mules really got to lift it off there's no anti-air in uh which fares army but it looks like it is is in the red and it's going to go down it's a massive loss for alarm not making the same mistake he's lifting off that factory even though everything down in this expansion is going to fall i don't think switch has enough to uh press the attack on the high ground, 20 harvesters to 36. I think what Switchfire needs to do is pull back, uh, re-macro, and be content with the uh, amount of damage he's already done. The Banelings getting caught behind the roaches, giving the uh, now 1-1 Marines enough time to deal plenty of damage to those roaches, covering them up completely. A couple of dropped Marines dealing with the Banelings, and the rest of Switchfire's force is going to be covered up. Good Baneling hit right there. Another one getting close. Can't really see it underneath the... Uh, medevac but they pull back a siege tank getting picked off that's a really good win for switch Faya. overall he definitely came out ahead look at those mineral losses uh and now he's forcing alarm to use that third medevac to saturate his natural again rather than and by medevac i mean orbital command uh to saturate his natural again rather than uh take a third which is what he really wanted 1-1 one, one is now on the way for switch Faya. he is grabbing a third which is a completely appropriate uh call in this situation he's done quite a lot of damage he's got to be feeling very good uh, and even though alarm is pushing out these roaches if they turned and fight could definitely cut this marine count in half even if they're being healed but it looks like switch Fae is content to lose one or two more as he's getting back to the zerglings Ooh, 
Looks like Alarm picking off a picking up a bunch of his Marines is going to drop them down immediately. Scout it, and with those Speedlings on the ground and one one finishing up just now, he should be able to cover this up with minimal loss to his uh, Harvester count. Queen though might be countered down, and that could be a, a significant loss. The Marines finding their little corner, but the Zerglings have bought enough time for the Roaches to catch up. Which oh, the Queen does go down, and once the Roaches arrive, Alarm pulls back a very successful attack uh, for Alarm. He's kind of evened up that resource is lost that's what i'm talking about this is the third for alarm if he can take this if he can hold this if he doesn't have to worry about the destructible debris he can miss he can abuse that uh small by by air pathway in between the third and the main and you get into the main you can take down the layer you can take down the pool uh banely nest and roach warren secondary to the layer and pool but uh still very important tech structures very important structures that are very valuable and uh more importantly, take a long time to replenish. I expect we're going to see some anti-air coming out of Switch Faya to deal with this. Maybe just spore crawlers, maybe uh, hydras, or maybe he'll switch over to the air himself. This is uh, an important time for Switch Faya to realize that he can't keep using the same tech that won him that first battle. He's got to adapt and adjust, especially as a large push is going to be forming for alarm. Got a couple of SCVs in there to heal that one siege tank, which has siege mode, I'm sure. No, it does not. Oh, it's finishing up, though. Oh, could he be doing this entire thing as a drop? That would be really cool. Yeah, he's got enough medevacs and uh, the Marines, even though this army is in the wings, if he uh, fits them off into the side, they're going to be very successful. The siege tank sieging up over in the uh, expansion is going to be supplying some large artillery fire from a distance but you can just see those banelings were waiting in the wings cutting out half of the marines just like that better to drop them behind the mineral line there's nothing in there as way as defense we can see the infester pit is finishing up for switch fail which is a nice choice some uh, chain fungals and some invested terrans can definitely provide some much needed anti-air attack queen's got to be careful though she is in range of that siege tank and could be focused down takes quite a lot of damage from that siege tank but Alarm seems to be content with just harassing right now. He is re-macroing. He's got the saturation up at the second. You can see that Switch Faya being forced to deal with this aggression hasn't managed to re- uh, to period saturate his third. Even though he has the third, he's uh, still just barely getting a couple of drones here and there. Hasn't been able to expand upon uh, the lead that he had to begin with. Single siege tank being lifted. Uh, <laughs> just some siege take micro dropped before the spine crawler could do any real damage it's going to be siege mode it gets one or two fires off before it's focused down but the bane leads being wasted on the siege tank rather than the marines that's a big loss for uh switch fea oh good call there though getting the roaches close enough so that the uh siege tank could do some damage it looks like some zerglings have come in taken down the siege tank from the uh from the third and then another small swell of Zerglings are trying to deal with this aggression, but there's just too many Marines, some nice stutter step micro, uh, and a lot of these harvesters have gone down. It looks like 33 to 23, still a healthy uh, deficit for Alarm, but he has those mules, and you can see that even though he's got the uh, harvester count differential, he's uh, doing quite a lot of damage. Wow, look at that. He's cleaned out this entire expansion. And that Infestor Pit's going to go down without the pathogen glands done. 32 Zerglings, what a successful drop. Alarm's got to be feeling incredible right now. 52 to 150 supply, uh, 23 harvesters. He's uh, completely decimated that. The Banelings getting caught off guard, finally lifted off, but uh, they can just be dropped again and continue to do plenty of damage now that the Banelings are done. And then while these guys are going to work, we have a large army coming out from Alarm, not supported by any medevacs, and they're going to be very exposed once they get on that creep, but this uh, two-pronged harassment is really going to be successful for Alarm, especially as the uh, majority of his army is trying to deal with this. Anti-air arrives as far as the queens are concerned, but there's so many medevacs, they're going to be able to fly directly and meet up with this uh, other force from Alarm, which is pushing in to deal damage to the third. Never really managed to saturate that third, uh, you can see that the supply differential 40 to 95 is really favoring Alarm. I think Switch Faye is going to have to tap out in just a couple of seconds. As Alarm finishes off that third, he's going to push up into the natural, which is the only mining base right now. And all Switch Faye has to deal with this is a handful of uh, Zerglings. One or two of these Infestors could have just saved this. One or two Infestors could have uh, fungled that whole ball and really shut down Alarm's uh, aggression. But that Infestor Pit has to be rebuilt. And uh, switch fair.
has to tap out. Big joke. I know, buddy. It's uh, it's rough. That drop play from Alarm was really, really successful, and that's what I'm talking about with this map uh, that close by air can really heavily favor whatever race decides to get the uh, air superiority, and it's definitely something that the uh, Zerg have been struggling with lately. I uh, appreciate you guys watching my cast. If you guys have a comment, you could leave me a comment. Uh, if you have a game you want me to cast, you could PM me here or on Reddit one way or another. I am Big and Scary. I'll see you guys later. Bye.